Hey everyone, in this video I'd like to show off uh, how some LEGO pieces glow under black light and highlight some interesting differences between some things that glow and that are kind of obvious and some things that, that aren't. Uh, and, you know, some similar pieces that glow depending on the version of them. Uh, so, first I have here some of the more obvious glowing pieces, in particular the trans neon green pieces like you see in this old Mtron set. Obviously uh, this color was made to look like it was glowing even under normal lighting. Uh, it is not, most of these parts are, are not things that glow in the dark in the sense that they charge up and then continue to glow after. They uh, are things that need to be continuously illuminated with some UV to glow. And, and then you have some classic uh, space figures like Blacktron, which used a lot of that trans neon green. Um, some of the old uh, Aquanauts sets, Aqua Sharks, and so on. Right? Ice Planet. This instead used the trans neon orange, which is similarly very uh, UV reactive color. It looks neon even in normal light. The comparison, right? Here's these sets of normal lighting with UV and normal lighting, and just UV again. And then here we have a, a Nexo Knights uh, monster figure, kind of reminiscent of a Balrog. And um, this is using just the trans orange color, not the neon version, but it still glows, just not as brightly as the neon version. Now let's take a look at some other parts. For example, here's a bunch of crystal parts. Now you can see again we have some neon green ones glowing brightly, as well as some other interesting ones. So, under, under normal light, right, so you have pieces like this, which are the neon green, and let's lay some of these out. Crystal that's just trans green, but also glowing. Um, Trans light blue, which glows. Now you wouldn't necessarily think to look at this that this would glow, but it does. Let's take another look under UV. All right, so obviously that the neon green glows the brightest, but the other trans green glows and the blue as well. And even some clear pieces glow. So that is something I wanted to talk about. Right, here's a clear globe that glows just a little bit versus some other clear globe that doesn't glow at all. Now an interesting example of that is the new versus old trans clear colors. So here are some um, one by two by two panels. Notice that the top ones don't glow, the bottom ones do glow. The difference is the top ones are the old polycarbonate and the bottom ones are the newer kind of milky colored um, transparent parts that LEGO has introduced in the last couple years and has been phasing in. So under normal light, it's probably hard to see in the video, you can tell that the lower ones are a little milkier, they're not as crystal clear. But once you illuminate them, it becomes much more obvious there's a difference. So it could be useful if you're trying to separate a bunch of parts without, you know, looking real close at, at all of them, that you could separate the old and the new ones using some UV light for this. Alright, 
just for fun, here's some other neon green parts and trans neon orange, They're very bright. Flames, of course. Now this is another interesting color. This may look almost like the um, neon orange, but this is actually vibrant coral. See, it's a pink, pinkish salmon color under, no under normal light. But, oh sorry, and here's without any UV. But it actually glows quite brightly under UV. And similarly, here's just some one by ones. So, lights off. Hit it with UV. It almost looks like trans neon orange. Some more flames. a variety of stuff in these in these colors. There's a couple of fun ones, uh, old scorpion mold that's been around for a while. The older spider mold, there's some newer spider mold now. Alright, there's some other parts found for fun here, just some one by ones loose. Of course, the old uh, Blacktron, Mtron antennas were very popular. Now here's something that's really kind of interesting in terms of parts that don't glow that you might think would glow. And so here's some parts from the um, hidden side sets. Now in the bottom left there you see a head that glows, because that's trans neon green. But then the rest of them don't. So, these kind of splat pieces that are used for the ghostly ectoplasm, there's a transparent version and then there's this um, light green version as well. They, you know, are, you might think that these ghostly parts are kind of would glow or they kind of look like the shade that would glow. They're not that far off from the trans neon green of the head, but they're a different, they're a different formula of plastic, and they do not glow at all. There's the head lit up, and not the other parts. So I thought that was kind of interesting. And let's see what else we got. Now there are some other colors that are just normal, you know, opaque. Um, colors like the vibrant coral that do glow a bit, like some shades of light orange will glow. Alright, so another example is you have these flower pieces, right? There's this, uh, I believe it's called like bright light orange there. Now, that orange color actually glows pretty well, not quite as bright as vibrant coral or a uh, trans neon color, but surprisingly much considering that it just looks like a kind of yellowish orange right you wouldn't necessarily think that's that's something that would glow but there's you know some phosphorescent um, pigments in there to to I guess achieve that orange color under normal light plus UV you can't really tell too much of a difference it just gets a little bit brighter but in the dark there you can pick those pieces out pretty pretty quick all right, so another thing that's a little bit different is this kind of um, anglerfish piece that came in some of the diving sets, or I guess just the one diving set, but see this is different because it's not um, just lighting up under UV, it is storing up the light and then re-emitting it. The traditional glow-in-the-dark type of, of uh, piece. and. It's kind of different texture. It's almost like a kind of splotchy texture to it. So it it seems like a like a coating, like a paint almost on there that makes it glow. 
as opposed to the obviously intrinsic coloring of the plastic on, on like a neon green. And, and then this one will, of course, glow just with normal normal light exposure for a while. Turn off the light, it glows. Uh, UV charges up a little bit more aggressively, but. And that's similar to the old Ghost figures, um, but they were not a coating. They were there. It's part of the plastic, but that's a, a kind, another kind that will, will re-emit, charge up, re-emit. All right. One more example I want to show is another way to tell some new versus old pieces apart. That is kind of uh, kind of strange. So these are just red and yellow pieces, and guess what? They look pretty normal. Can't really tell a lot of difference between them, but when you hit them with UV, well, some of them are dark and some of them are bright. And the difference is the age of the bricks. So you can actually use the UV to identify older bricks with different formulas. So these ones that don't glow and actually look a little bit darker in your normal light are the newer bricks. Um, they're they're smoother and yeah so it's clear that they've not been in my collection as long versus some bricks I have from being a kid from when I was a kid they are super scratched up. Same thing here there's a couple nice shiny bricks that are the new ones and those are the ones that don't glow and the ones that glow are the older bricks from you know some from the 90s i don't know if this brighter versus slightly dimmer coloring indicates something um like if you know if these are actually three different eras or if there's just some variation Maybe that there are actually three different areas in that start up right, got a little dimmer, and now we have the totally non glowing version of these are you know, recent last couple year bricks. If anybody knows, put it in the comments, but I thought that maybe of interest to some people who, you know, if you want to identify different eras of bricks in your collection. Alright, well, that's all I had in terms of these. Glowing bricks. Hope you enjoyed watching. I think the glowing effect is pretty cool myself. So I enjoy just just shining a light on them. Um, oh yeah, one thing I note too is that my drawers. Some of my drawers glow and some of them don't. Similar thing. These glowing ones are newer, so it's actually opposite of these bricks where the glowing ones are older. But it's very similar to this where the transparent older ones, I mean, let me see these are transparent, don't glow. Transparent newer ones do glow. As always, thanks for watching.